Among regular travelers to Norway, Norwegian brown cheese is a food that divides opinion. Part of the problem is that this tangy, sweet curiosity is usually placed next to Jarlsberg on a hotel breakfast buffet, fooling a visitor into thinking it will taste like an ordinary cheese. But there are ways to make the most of the unique characteristics of brown cheese, brunost in Norwegian, away from the breakfast table. Norwegians typically consume brown cheese in slices on a piece of crisp bread or with a waffle, but there are other creative ways to try this icon of Norwegian cuisine. When trying any of these, bear in mind the choice of brown cheese will impact the taste. The most widely available, Tines Gudbrandsdalen, combines goat's milk and cow's milk in equal measure for a milder taste. If you prefer a sharper taste, go for a goat's milk variety such as Ekta Gatist. If you're the kind of person who enjoys adding Worcestershire sauce into beef gravy, then this might work for you. A little brown cheese melted into a creamy, savory sauce gives a rounded accompaniment to game, but it can work as a general purpose sauce too. Alternatively, try boiling brunost with condensed milk for a savory twist on dulce de leche. It goes great on pancakes and ice cream. For the same reasons as the savory sauce, brown cheese also goes well in a stew. While in Norway you're more likely to see brown cheese added to reindeer stew, it can work with beef too. Sweet Paul carries a hunter's stew recipe with a ringing endorsement. The brunost sauce is amazing, and I always mash my potatoes into the gravy to soak up as much as I can. For a Scandinavian twist on a classic apple tart, lay apple slices on top of an almond and brown cheese filling. Alternatively, sprinkle a little grated brown cheese into the dish before baking, or lay brunost slices on top of a store-bought pie if you just want to satisfy your curiosity. The sizable Norwegian-American community ensures brunost is available in some US stores. Yet it's demand from somewhere else that caused Norwegian factories to shift production schedules around. Demand from South Korea has soared, thanks in part to a curious trend of using grated brown cheese as a pizza topping. There is a solid tradition for the combination of sweet and salty tastes in our country, Korea Dairy's Hisuk Shin told NRK. Thanks to London's Scandi Kitchen for the final slice of inspiration. According to the Scandinavian Cafe, the key to a successful, mac and brunost, dish is to only replace about one-third of the cheddar with brown cheese, otherwise the strong flavor will over